All right, traders, this is the watch this video for Thursday, September 21st. Showing you the spy. Doesn't look like much happened. Let's go to intraday. And this is what this is why I don't trade afternoons on FOMC day. You had this nasty flush and then all the way back up to highs. But there's really no predicting that. And uh, I always do better just leaving those. Although, although I did take one trade this afternoon and added uh, a few hundred dollars to my morning gain. So that was kind of nice. Um, but generally, I don't trade the afternoons. I didn't have anything else going on in my life, so I hung out in front of my screens all day. So here's what I'm watching for tomorrow. Um, PZRX, really nice high volume spike. Maybe we get a red to green or something like that, and it's certainly worth watching. RADA, really trying to break out above those August highs. Really nice volume today and held up well. Keep an eye on that one. FT, FT, I've never traded this one before, and, and here's why. This volume spike was still only like 500,000 shares. And the day before that, it traded 56,000, 8,000, 19,000, 18. So very, very thin stock. Um, normally, I wouldn't even have something like this on watch, but I want to watch it tomorrow. That is a really significant volume spike for that stock. So we'll see if it sets up. I'm skeptical that it will, though. BLDP holding up really well. Um, it's kind of a sister stock to plug, which was really strong today. Uh, I'm going to watch this for a potential breakthrough. Recent highs, you get the whole number five, and then you've got uh, 506. As a couple highs above, that one's really strong today. We're going to watch that one. AMD doesn't look like much here until you go to intraday. You see this big spike at the end of the day. Massive volume news on working on a chip with uh, Tesla for self-driving cars. I think that was the headline. Um, and Big Al in our chat room posted that. Really, he's super fast with news and posted it. Um, I didn't jump in, but man, I wish I would have. been after hours, it's trading at 14.02 right now. But this one has to be watched tomorrow. There it is on 60. So you can see the significance of that 60 minute candle. And certainly worth watching tomorrow. That's AMD, SCYX. Um, kind of a breakout today on extra volume. Right, right up into the 200 day though, so keep that in mind. But we're gonna watch that one. ABUS, really big move today. Gave back a lot of it on an intraday basis. Um, I actually got long through six. After five minutes of trading today, my call was through six. And it went pretty quickly, actually, to 650. And I had a nice trade in that. And it flushed me out. And I should have got back in right here. And I didn't. But anyway, I made, I don't know, five, six hundred dollars something like that on ABUS. Could have made a ton more, even if I just got back in. Or, um, well, actually, that's not fair. Because whenever something comes back to my entry, I'm back out. But anyway, it was really strong. And then gave back some in the afternoon. Still worth watching for the rest of uh, the rest of the week, in my opinion. And probably next week, too. KURA is kind of a sleeper pick here because... Had a huge move and is still, it's what, six, seven, eight sessions, still trading inside of that original uh, gap and run there on that day. So it's still trading inside that range and you're three days lower. So I want to watch that. This one might catch a bit if it can set up correctly. AOBC had that big pop yesterday, kind of a quiet inside candle today. Did have kind of a last minute pop at the end of the day, but anyway. Um, no trades in it today, but it's worth watching tomorrow. Sometimes you get what we call a third day play where you get the big pop, then some selling comes in and then the third day it rips again. So we're going to watch that one. CAPR had the huge pop. Selling came in on lower volume. So another looking for another third day play there. Um, keep in mind, I'll only take any of these if they meet our intraday setup criteria. We teach all of that in our trading course. Um, CUR, nice pop out of a tight range. So we'll see if we get a follow through day. Follow through day in that one tomorrow. Um, let's see. And then lastly, I have ALDX, which did an offering. And this is actually the one I took a late day trade on. Uh, we were watching this one earlier. Wayne identified a big seller at 750. So his idea was over that. And look what happened. It came up and hit 750. And uh, we, Wayne's thesis was we wanted to break 750 before we get long. So it really kind of took this off my radar. And I don't really like trading stuff that's just had an offering. They don't move as normally or as nicely as, as other stocks. But guess what? In the afternoon, this started to come back up. Where is it? There started to come back up there, a little extra volume, and I put it on watch and said, hey, guys, this might break the half this time. And it, it is, doesn't sound like much, but I made $300 from here to here, um, which added to my morning gains and really ended up with a nice day, all things considered, because usually I don't trade FOMC afternoons, and uh, it was nice to get a few hundred extra bucks. Anyway, that's it. That's the watch list. We're going to add uh, gappers in the morning. I'm telling you guys, the market's trading really well. This was a, a slow summer. Things are really picking up and we're seeing a lot of good setups and there's a lot of money to be made right now. So, uh, you know, if you can, if you're a chat, remember, log in. All right. Um, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. And I'll say this one more time. 
our trading course, 11 hours that we had on Saturday, and the next one is in January. We're splitting that up into two days, Saturday and Sunday, because um, it was just a long 11 hours. Um, it's all recorded, and the recordings are available for purchase right now, and um, we're getting really, really great feedback on it. And I'll tell you what, um, I'm going to make a guarantee. You buy the course, I promise you, you won't email me and say, hey, that that, uh, that course wasn't worth it. Promise you, you won't. Um, I, I would I would put it up against any trading courses out there. It's, it, it's probably way more thorough. We've got live video. Oh, the cool thing about it, every video of every trade in our course and of every setup was something we called live in our chat room before they triggered. So we didn't Wayne and I didn't go and find a bunch of charts that had you know met our parameters. That, Ooh, look at this one. It met our parameters of this type of trade. Let's use it in the course. We didn't do that. Everything in that course is stuff that we called in real time before it triggered. Um, which is proof that what we do, we actually trade what we do. None of it is theory. It's all stuff that we did and we continue to do on a daily basis. And the cool thing is after this weekend, I'm already seeing some students post, hey, this one is setting up just like you taught in the course um, before they're triggering. We're already seeing students do that and it happens every time we have a course. So anyway, enough babbling about that. Um, have a look at it on the website and we hope to uh, hope to trade with you soon. All right, have a good night. See everybody tomorrow.